Y'all, today, we're out here. We are out here. F-Bomb 2.0, Jeremy's boat, right here. It's chilly. We have a chill in the air. It's, it was 30 degrees 30, 30 minutes ago. We were at my house. So we were both like scraping degrees. ice off of our cars this morning. And y'all, today we're in our local fishery here in Virginia, well actually Norfolk. So anyways, y'all, it's pretty awesome because we're one of the few boats that's out today. I think everybody's staying inside, staying warm. Not us. Today we're gonna be out here tearing apart the Elizabeth River. It's pretty obvious where we're at. Deep water, shallow water, bridges, banks, all that good stuff. Super, super pumped. It is freezing. The first trip to the spot's always the coldest. Bridge is shutting on us. Yeah. <laughs> this is nuts. And I honestly, I don't know. I assume it's okay that we just yeah. kind of come and go. Oh yeah. But it is kind of wild. You know. All right, y'all. This is the first spot that we are starting at. Do some bridge fishing. <sighs> Deeper water here. Uh, the water tip is actually. 55 degrees and that's just on the surface so we are using some heavier jigs half ounce jig heads we're gonna be working these fishies on the bottom combination of very slow jigging and just a slow slow steady retrieve this outgoing tide is like just starting Two minutes. Jeremy's got a striper and I'm hooked up on what feels like could be a keeper trout. Really? Or is it a sh what is this? Yeah, that's a trout. That guy's going in the cooler. Dude, that water. Oh, nice. There we go. <laughs> All right, y'all, there it is. First two minutes. These are like perfect size for eating. And a good size trout. Pretty respectable trout. So I got one, Jeremy got one. And sweet, that's a great start to the day. Checking it off the list. Uh, the speckled trout and then the next one hopefully gonna be the striper, but we're gonna stay here while we're catching these fish is like solid action right here. We're just boat flipping quality trout. Solid. That is solid, y'all. Take that. Literally, we have been out here like 10 minutes. Wow. All right, y'all. So it's just, Jeremy and I, we're just kind of looking for 
like the structure and then like the topography right here is just excellent but these speckled trout are just moving in force um all the other kind of bodies of water like north carolina even has water that's significantly colder than what we're fishing right now um you can actually see some like steam coming off the water but yeah it's like when we fired up the live well it was like kind of want to keep your hand in the water because it's like warm um you know our uh, electronics are reading 55 56 degree water temp but that's just on the surface so that's why we're fishing these like heavier jigs half ounce jigs and just kind of bouncing it slow rolling on the bottom and it is certainly producing but this is not like a fickle like wintertime bite these trout are like swallowing these jigs all right y'all so we're gonna use this berkeley gold it's like a fatter swimming mullet I like this profile especially for a wintertime fishing I'm down to maybe catch like one more and then find the striper. We got a lot of trout. Do I? We have a lot of trout. There's one. Fish all, fish all. This might be our limit. Might be time for striper. Man. That thump never gets old. Might be the net. Did you get one? No, oh, we're doubled up. Yeah, I can boat flip, I think. Oh yeah, all right, we're boat flipping. Come right here. Some fat trout right here, dude. That is a fat trout. Big old yellow mouth. This live well is stacked full of trout. Fish, fish. Be that 27. Son! That's a trophy. We're right near it. All right, y'all. So. Jeremy literally was like, let's do three more casts just for the trophy. And I think Jeremy might have gotten it. This is the beauty of our wintertime fishery. The Gigantor. That is a big old trout. It's a healthy sized fish. Dude. Solid. Nice. You know, so, like a few more for the trophy. Yeah. Why not? All right, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> wow. Just out in the camera. All right, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, <laughs> what we were using to catch these fish, um, and just actually talking 
more because we haven't done a gear breakdown in a while. It's been a really long time since we've done a kind of a breakdown on the gear that we're using and also just more of like a tutorial on how to catch these fishies in the winter time because it was freezing on that day. Uh, it's like, I don't know, it was like 30 degrees, but we were catching a bunch of trout. We did move on the striper uh, and we didn't, we kind of struck out on the striper, but we slayed the trout. So check it out. We're gonna show you guys. Um, this is our Christmas tree, by the way. I'm gonna show y'all what we were using. But there it is. Here's Noah. He passed out. He'll probably sleep through this whole entire thing. Little man. Yeah. Little Noah. Okay. All right. So this is pretty much my office back here. This Berkeley gulp, these swimming mullets, right now the bait that we have in our fishery right now is we do have a lot of mullet, but something that's really popular um, in the Elizabeth River and kind of in our backwaters in, in these creeks and our inshore waters where our fish move back into is gudgeons and mud minnows. So this is Berkeley gulp. This is actually kind of going smaller end of the spectrum uh but this is these are just kind of like they're minnows and these things are tiny and you can fish these on a light jig head uh but gudgeons and mud minnows if you want to like match the hatch um that's why these swimming mullet i like because they're kind of a good blend between mullet like fish and gudgeons mud minnows so mud minnows are also like a great live bait for any of y'all who are like live baiting um, in the winter time and in the colder months, uh, you can throw mud minnows on a, uh, like a Carolina rig, throw them on the bottom. Or, um, a lot of times when these fish are up on like a grass line or like a shallow bank with like a mud bottom, the sun comes out and you cast a, uh, mud minnow underneath of like a, a bobber or a cork, or as the fly fishermen say, a strike indicator. Um, then that's kind of a um, really good uh, rig to use in the colder months uh, in the winter. And then the other one that I really like to use, this is a jerk shad. And right now we've been fishing deeper. Uh, so we've been fishing like, you know, 10 to 15, even 20 feet deep to find these speckled trout in the winter time, which is weird. And it's really cool to kind of target these fish in a way that I haven't really done it too much, but that's where they're at. So these jerk shad are really good when you're really just like jigging them. And you can do like a kind of a slow retrieve with like a light jig. Um, those are a great bait to use in the winter time. And this right here, this is kind of my samurai sword that I've been using. Uh, so we have, this is the Pen Conflict 2000. Um, and I've got an HMG Fenwick. I do have a jig head that I've been using. Um, this is the half ounce jig head right here that we've been getting these I don't know if y'all can see that, I'm trying to hold it. So this is the half ounce jig head that we've been using. So we've been like slow rolling or just like very subtle jigs. Um, as the water temperatures cool down, these fish tend to get a little bit, you know, slower with everything. Right now they're still uh, pretty aggressive with their strikes, but um, honestly, we've been getting a lot of these trout deeper. Um, and so it's been, really cool this year to kind of approach trout fishing in a different way uh targeting these fish deeper um because typically for speckled trout you say deep you know you're talking only like six to eight feet but we've been going 10 to 15 to 20 feet and i feel like that that's just kind of where the bait is obviously um and I think it's a combination of that's where the bait is. There hasn't been too much angling pressure in some of these areas, like too deep. Um, and the water temp is warmer uh, down low. I think I had mentioned in the video, it was the water temp was like a certain, I think it was like 55 on the surface, but who knows what it is, like 15 to 20 feet down. So is this water still cooling down on the surface temp? Um, that's why these fish are moving into these deeper areas because they can hold there all winter long in this fishery in Virginia. Even if we get a freeze, they can still go to this deeper water 
and it's not gonna be water temps that are gonna like kill them per se. Um, it'd take a really cold freeze that we had like five years ago, four or five years ago when we had that bad trout kill to really make a big dent. In these fisheries um, where you have that deeper water, um, these speckled trout, they're able to, you know, get into water that they're, I always say fish follow areas or fish are in areas that they have food, uh, comfort, and uh, that they, they can do their thing with uh, spawning. But right now, food and comfort, those are the two biggest things in the winter time that I feel like these fish, because they're not spawning. Speckled trout and um, especially redfish, they spawn in warmer uh, temps, not in the dead of winter. In the dead of winter, they're looking at uh, staying alive, being comfortable, as comfortable as possible, and being around bait. So that's where those deeper areas have you know, provided those two uh, really important things that the fish are really concerned about this time of year. That's at least what I've observed, and that's um, what uh, we've been doing to get it done with. So anyways, y'all, I haven't done uh, this like gear breakdown or more of these tutorials in a minute. We've just been doing more kind of straight up fishing. So we're going to be doing a lot more tutorials and just uh, helping y'all catch these fishies. Uh, yeah, throughout the winter and just even doing some more generic tutorials that apply kind of all year round. So that is it. Noah is just passed out. Wow, buddy. You just slept through that whole thing. Yeah. Did your dad that put you to sleep? <laughs> talking about fishing wow anybody to sleep. <laughs> all right y'all well that's all we got for today so we're gonna <laughs> hang out with our little man yeah. and uh we'll catch y'all in the next vid all right guys